<clears throat> all right, Shalom. First and foremost, uh, I'd like to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well, and uh, Shalom to the elect out there pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. You know, and uh, pretty much uh, we're going to go into this doctrine of, uh, of hell, man, you know, because uh, this is a big stronghold that that is on our people uh, uh, according uh, according to you know what they believe that the scripture says man you know the majority of the people are out here believe that there's a hell on the bottom of the earth uh well you know like there's a place in the under under the earth where uh, uh after you die your soul goes to be tormented forever you know and uh that's that's not uh in the scriptures that's not accurate you know, and through the scriptures, you know, we're going to go through it and, and show, um, you know, the whole matter, man. Because at the end of the day, that story is a fairy tale and it's, it's not according to scripture, man. All right. So this is the book of uh, 2 Samuel, chapter 22, verse 4. It says, uh, I will call on Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. And that's a key point right there. Remember that. This is talking about uh, the calling on the Lord so you can be saved from your enemies, right? Verse 6, it says, When the waves of death come past me, floods of me ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell come past me about. You know, so if this is a place under under the ground, then how is it, how is it that it's compassing uh, uh, King David, man? You know? How is it? It says, uh, uh, the sorrows of hell come past me about, the snares of death prevent me, man. You know? So, really, in the scriptures, what you have is, uh, hell comes down to, uh, to mean, uh, a, a, a state of, of, uh, how can you say it? Uh, like a bad, uh, bad, uh, a bad state, you know? When you're going through hell, pretty much, as the old saying goes, man, I've been going through hell, you know, we're going through harsh times, man, you know, because that's what it is. Uh, verse four explains it, it says when you save from my enemies, man, when you're in, in the time of affliction, those are the words that I was looking for. A hell could be a time of affliction or it could also mean the grave as well, you know. Uh, but right here in this case, um, it's a time of affliction, man. Right now, us being in this captivity, we are in our hell, man. And and and, uh, and uh, the and the so called white man, he's in his heaven, man. You know, we could we could read that too. That's another um, scripture right here. This is Isaiah, because you know, um, I'm gonna read a. Uh, I'm gonna read Isaiah 14. I don't see where I can start. I'm going to read from verse 4 right here. It says, um, yeah, verse 4. It says that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how had the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased, right? So it's talking about, uh, you know, to the king of Babylon. The Lord had broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth, right? So it's talking about, it's talking about when the wicked, uh, the rulers uh, of the world are are, are, are are brought down low, man. Because at the time Babylon was established, you know, uh, it was the greatest kingdom, man. Same thing here now, man. You know? It's 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 the greatest kingdom in the world, man. So it, pretty much, he was the king at at the time, the highest king uh, on, on the planet, man. It says, uh, "He who smote the people with a continual stroke, he that ruled the uh, the nations in anger, is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet, and they break forth into singing." Right? I'm gonna read verse. I'm gonna jump to verse nine. It says, "Hell, uh, you know, I'm just gonna keep reading from eight. You know, it says the whole earth is at rest because when the wicked are finally put down, the whole the earth gets to rest, man. Because uh, the the wicked, every time they're put in authority, the uh, the whole earth has to suffer, man. The trees, you see it now, man. The 
the uh, all, the, all the vegetation is cut down. That's why you need a uh, well, not all of it, but you know, uh, a lot of the vegetation has been destroyed, man. That's why you have uh, 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 reservations, man. You know, um, uh, forest preserves, man, uh, because they have to be preserved from the destructive manner of these people, man. You know, uh, not only that, but also the air is defiled. The people are defiled. We get fed GMOs or uh, the doctrines that, that are that are, you know, that are instilled in household values are all out of, je uh, you know, household morals are all uh, out of whack. You know, verse eight. So the once the wicked is brought down, the earth is at rest, man. They break forth into singing, man. Because when it says when the righteous are in authority, uh, the people rejoice, man. Because they they rule with just with, with a with a just hand, man. Verse eight, according and not just according to your vain opinion, but by the by the opinion of Yahweh Hashem Shai, according to the scriptures, man. You know. So I'm going to keep going. This is verse 8. It says, Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller has come up against us. See, so even the trees are going to rejoice, man. Um, verse 9. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even the chief ones of the earth. It had raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations, man. You know, so so um, right here is letting you know uh, uh, that that uh, that hell and heaven is a condition, man. When you're in heaven, you're 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 you're, you're in um, you're in authority, man. But when you get brought down low, man, you get brought down to hell, man. You know, because how did you know with, with the explanation of these people that that it's a place under the under the ground? How, how would that make sense? Verse nine. I read it again. It says, "Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee." So is hell gonna come uh, or rise itself up from the bottom? No, it's not gonna happen, man. It, it, it's making it's making a a, a point uh, of the state and condition that you're in, man. It's come to meet thee at thy coming, man. It's gonna get you, man. You know them hardships, man. So um, I'm going to keep going down uh, at verse 10. It says, And they shall speak unto and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as me? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave. And, and uh, you know, hey, and that's the spirit, man. The, the uh, Right here in verse 11, it says grave. And in the Spanish for grave, it says seol, right? So so if uh, if you go verse, back to verse 9, in the Spanish on the right side, it says Seol, but on the left hand, it says hell. So here it is, the, uh, the same word, you know, it goes from hell to grave, man. That's all it is, man. You're getting brought down to a low state, man. You know, or, or it could be too, you go into the grave, man. You, you, you get done, man. You know, it says, uh, it says, uh, all they shall speak and say unto thee, art thou also become weak as we? Are thou become like unto us? So, hey, you're no longer the king, the head king, man. You're brought down low. It says, thy, thy pomp is brought down to the grave and the noise of thy vows, vials. The worm is spread under thee as the worm covered thee. It says, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? So that, that's the point right there. You know, everybody want to say Lucifer is the is the one ruling under under the under the in 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 uh, what they call Hades, the, this uh, fictional place of torment, but no, it was just talking about the kings of Babylon, man, and it just called them Lucifer, man. Lucifer just means light bearer, man, and that's what they vainly call themselves now. Um, uh, you know, with the Illuminati, man, the illuminated ones, the ones that have the light, and light bearers. That's that's just what it is, man. You know. So it's talking to heaven and hell is a condition, man. You know, it also means the pit. So um, I'm that that that's uh, it for now. I, I'm, I'll just jump down real quick to make a quick point because uh, it it goes into talking about that nation, man. You know, and then twofold is talking about current day Babylon right now because this is Babylon as well, man. America, you know.
Verse 16, it says, They that see thee shall never look, look upon thee and consider, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble and that did shake kingdoms? So Lucifer is not no demon in the, in the, uh, you know, in the underworld, how they would like to say it. You know, uh, with a pitchfork and flames. No, that's not what it is, man. He was he was that king that made the world to tremble, man. Who is it now, man? It's Esau Edom, man. The so-called white man. The Illuminati. So that's what that's talking about. Another uh, example in the scriptures where hell and heaven is a condition, man. We just read it in, in, in 2 Samuel when the enemies chased it after David, man. You know? I'm going to keep going. This is, the verse, uh, this is the book of Jonah, chapter 2, verse, verse 2. Let me read from 1. Then Jonah prayed unto Yahweh, his power, out of the fish's belly, and said, I cried by reason of my affliction unto Yahweh, <laughs> by reason of my affliction, my time of hardship, and he, and he heard me out of the belly of hell. I cried, and thou heardest my voice. Now, now was Jonah actually in the underworld? Was he under under the 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 ground at that point no he wasn't he was in the belly of uh, uh of the fish man so clear as day man hell is not what you guys think it means man hell is a condition you know i'm gonna keep going just just to to you know because uh right now we're gonna go into, uh, into that word real quick Matter of fact, yeah, I'll just do that now. Because if you see the word hell in the Spanish, it keep, they keep putting the word seo, right? So, you know, I, I looked up that word seo, you know, and it says seo. In the Hebrew Bible, you know, which they go off here, man, but, you know, we'll break it down through the spirit. It says seo in the Hebrew Bible is a place of darkness to which all the dead go both the righteous and the unrighteous. So right off the bat, they're going on because it's not no place of darkness, man. You know, it, they, they have to give you a truth with a lie, man. The truth being is that when you both die, uh, or when, you, when you die, everybody goes to the same place. But it's not no place of darkness, man. The Lord says that, you, you know, he, he has said that they're asleep, man. When, 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 when uh, some of the disciples had died, they, what did he say? He said they're asleep. You know, in 1 Timothy 4 and 13, it tells you concerning them the, who are asleep, right? So, um, you know, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove that, that we all go to the same place, man. This is, um, we jump to Isaiah chapter, um, Ecle uh, no, it's not Isaiah, it's Ecclesiastes. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to start from Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. It says, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. So when you die, the dust is talking about our body. So what happens after we die? It says, and the spirit shall return unto Yahweh who gave it. 